watching this channel, you're probably not subscribed. Because about 50% of you guys are not subscribed. And if you want my cat to eat this month, I suggest you do so. It's taken a team effort to get eight streamers in one spot to be able to roast Mizkiff. Believe me, it's, it's, it's an effort in itself to get people to show up on time. Believe me. But... Uh, I think people have done a fantastic job. Every single person that's supposed to be here showed up. Every single one. Every single one. Lakari, S Fan, S Fan showed up. S Fan, Hassan showed up. Will Neff showed up. Malena showed up. Ms. Kip showed up. Schlatt showed up. Will Neff showed up. Cutie Cinderella showed up. I said Will Neff twice. At I some point, I almost died. <laughs> at some hell? point tonight, Ms. Kiff is probably going to get aroused by all the attention he's getting, but it's not like we'd ever be able to tell. It might be a struggle for you to get through tonight, but then you'll know how Maya feels trying to get a flaccid penis to ejaculate. Oh my Austin, God. stop. Austin, Good you're, job, stealing, Austin. you're stealing wow. all of Cutie's set here. Those are, be that's careful. my whole set. Cutie, you are so hot, it's almost enough to tur turn me straight. <laughs> But, Shut up. but your personality is so one. bad. I'd, <laughs> but your personality is so bad, I'd immediately go back to sucking cock. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let's give it up for our first roaster oh, of the <laughs> first roaster of the evening. Cutie Cinderella, give it up oh, for. God. Will oh, is God. actually very talented. He even sold a horror fi horror film script. Sorry, Melanie's here. I said horror. Um, <laughs> Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, oh, my God. oh my God! A lot of people think it's bad that I sent an ex-boyfriend bedbugs, but Milena's done worse just by dating someone. <laughs> <laughs> Slats mascot is a goat, which makes sense because he looks like he came from a family that fucks him. <laughs> <laughs> I made a joke the other week about how Jay Schlatt glues my pubes to his face, but the bigger joke is the idea of him getting that close to a vagina. <laughs> oh, damn. True. Just kidding. I'm just kidding, Jay Schlatt. There are plenty of females that are attracted to you. They're just all teenagers and probably texting Call Me Carson. Oh, oh that was... Oh, oh God. Oh, oh God. Oh, 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 cutie oh. Cinderella. <laughs> oh, God. Come on. <laughs> Cinderella. Speaking of tragedies, speaking of tragedies, as everyone know, there's been a worldwide pandemic going on for the past year with unemployment and death rates in the millions. It's been an awful year. Mm -hmm. But the worst thing I've seen in all of it was watching a date with a girl on Simply Stream last week. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, Simply. Yeah, true, true, true. Jesus You're... Christ. He, I said to her, are, you are a good girl. <laughs> uh, she, yeah. is. she is. She was. They were playing Minecraft, and she was jumping, and she and he goes, "You are a good girl." Lakari. Be any of us. Oh. Lakari. Mo. Mo. Lakari, I am a 3D human female. Don't be afraid. I know you've never talked to one before. It's okay. Nice to meet you. Ah, oh, finally, let's talk about Maya's boyfriend, Ms. Yay, yeah, the main event. Don't call me that. Don't call me. Finally, that. Yeah. holy shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, Ms. Kiff, we all love you, and we're so happy that you're here. Is something we all wish your parents would have said to you more. How did you turn out like this? How did Not this happen? Ms. Kiff was actually part of one of the worst times in my life. A time where I was so desperate for views, I had to act like I enjoyed being around Ms. Kiff. <laughs> it's tough. Oh man, I remember. She's not that, even actually. lying about this. No, I remember that. Also, you're in a better. You're in a better place, cutie. This is back in the, in the heart days. of LA. Oh god, and poor Maya. She has to take care of farm animals all day and then come home to another one. <laughs> and I would say at least Miss Kiff doesn't shit himself. Oh wait. <laughs> Uh, poopy. <laughs> hey, simply, simply I'm gonna take a shot every shot time, time something's fun to the fact yeah. that I shit myself or I'm fat. I'm just gonna go for it. Another fun fact about Ms. Kiff is that he used to film for Ice Poseidon. Oh God. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Man, I, I, I hope, I hope some of those videos get leaked someday so I can pretend like I never knew you. <laughs> uh, I got this joke from my mods. They just said, "Call Ms. Kiff a bitch." 
<laughs> I just want to say that I'm really happy to be here, guys. Uh, it's not every day that you get to embarrass Ms. Kiff in front of thousands of people. Usually, he does that just by himself on a stream. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> All right, that's true. I'll give you that. I'll, I respect that. That's true. <laughs> when Austin told me we we're going to be roasting an <laughs> ego, maniacal, manlet with a lot of dumb viewers, I got excited at the thought of roasting Ben Shapiro. <laughs> no, tonight we're He's roasting not watching, someone. Man. Tonight we're roasting someone with an even more annoying voice, Miss Kiff. Speaking of annoying voices, Cutie Cinderella's here. So <laughs> thank you, Cutie Cinderella, for being here. It's not just Miss Kiff. Miss Kiff's not alone here. We got some other famous faces here who have turned up the shit talk and Lakari, who's not famous. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? S fan, it is great to have you here. Uh, I'll be coming to Austin soon. Don't worry, yeah. I'm vaccinated. Uh. Not that that's mattered in the past. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> S Fan likes to bring up Donald Trump's famous quote that the Persians are great negotiators. Uh -huh. And I just want to thank S Fan for helping me prove that Donald Trump is yet again wrong. <laughs> After all, S Fan has been trying to convince people that classic wow is good content for oh. the last two years. <laughs> and clearly, that's a lie. I don't know too much about Jay Schlatt either. Uh, 9-11. You both relate. That's good. See, there you go. Only the old people oh. gave themselves away about you know, what Austin's, that joke is. Austin's, Austin's writers had a 9-11 joke for me to say about you too, man. We'll see how that goes, Jay Schlatt. Jay Schlatt is the only person who will get that joke. Also, Austin got it too. Because his entire audience is too young to know he's stealing Norm McDonald bits. Can we get a round of applause for Norm McDonald? That guy's a legend. We love I love Good work, Slat. Good work, Slat. Good work. When I got the call from Austin that he was putting together another show, I got excited. I was like, shit, there's going to be some Minecraft streamers on this. I didn't realize that it was going to be the less famous Republican one, known for having a permanent bad beard day. <laughs> Jay Slat. Didn't you have please, sideburns in high school? Please just look in a mirror, okay? <laughs> Your sideburns really make me think you're the only edgy YouTuber that should be grooming. Your facial hair looks like a reverse landing Jesus. strip. Oh, right. Right. Yo, what Jesus the hell? Right. <laughs> what is going on here, dude? <laughs> Oh, no. oh. Male grooming, guys, get with it. People get mad at hot tub streamers for sexually suggestive content, yet Nick and Melina are live every morning streaming the longest cuckold porn intro I've ever watched. <laughs> <laughs> kind of weird. <laughs> Enough stalling. Enough stalling. I'm going to be in Austin in a couple days, guys. Okay? Mm -hmm. If Will gay baited any harder without sucking a dick, he would be Aiden Ross. I made that joke specifically in the hopes of it getting clipped and shipped back to Aiden. That way you'll have something to fake react to on your stream for the next week. Thank you. Good guy. Good guy. <clears throat> good friend. Miskiff, a man who used to make good content on YouTube of Twitch streamers, who now makes bad content on Twitch, stealing from YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Some of you might not know this, but Misgiff and I are both from New Jersey. Of course, it's easier to tell Misgiff is from there since he's a landfill of a human being. <laughs> <laughs> Cutie, uh, I didn't really write any jokes for Cutie this time around. Uh, mainly because I'm so excited to hear what Ms. Kiff's mods cooked up this time. There's nothing funnier than incels trying to add punchlines to death threats. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure if we had stitched all the Ms. Kiff mod jokes together, it would have read like a manifesto. <laughs> I love uh, Milena and Nick as a couple, especially because of all the important work they're doing normalizing pegging. <laughs> Um, Melinda, do you breastfeed all the men in the house or just Nick? <laughs> Austin once told me that if Maya had a penis, she would be his type. Maya has told me the same thing about Ms. Kiff. Oh, no. <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on. That's a double kill. Jay Schlatt, I'm convinced that you are Norm McDonald's bastard son. 
And uh, congrats on joining OTK. Thank you. OTK Thank you. looks like a group of Make-A-Wish kids that survived the program. <laughs> <laughs> What oh, the no. fuck? <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. Jay Schlatt's mascot is a sheep, which is cool because it means that Nick isn't the only one who fucks his stream mascot. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, that's that so good. good. Damn, that uh, was good. Holy that was a good one. I had no idea how short Mizkiff is. Mizkiff is so short that he goes up on Maya. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ms. Kiff is now a very rich man. In fact, he is so wealthy that he almost makes as much money as his sister's only fans. <laughs> I'm his way. I'm close. I'm close. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm simply, if that wasn't obvious, hello. and I'm very. Hi. <laughs> I'm very excited to be here today. And to be honest, I was pretty nervous for this roast. So I went back and I rewatched uh, Mizkiff's roast from the roast of Ludwig. And needless to say, I feel a lot better. I feel really good about this. <laughs> Shut up. Mizkiff is the 31st biggest streamer on Twitch, at least at the time that I wrote this. I'm sure Miz was checking his stats right before this roast, so I'd like to confirm. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> 49th. 49th, sure. actually. Sure. Okay. Move down. Tell him in another hole. Nice. Tell him nice. in another yeah. hole. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Will used to work at BuzzFeed, where he worked as a hard-hitting journalist, posting classic content like, this is what Disney princesses would look like in real life. And <laughs> he actually did that video. <laughs> <laughs> what did you <laughs> <laughs> and uh, who can forget about 20 mullets you have to see to believe oh god <laughs> Missy is living proof that no matter how hard you work no matter how big you get no matter how funny and original you are there will always be some motherfucker fake laughing at clips who earns more than you. <laughs> sure. Sure. And he's fucking proud of that. That is his fucking only thing he's got going. Miskiff, your hairline has gone so far back, it still thinks you're Ice Poseidon's cameraman. <laughs> wow! Oh. You know it's coming. You know it's coming. It S fan is best known as the self proclaimed classic World of Warcraft guy, right? Everybody knows that. Mm -hmm. A title that is widely accepted by the WoW community just as long as Asmund Gold is offline. <laughs> Cutie deserves an Academy Award. She does. For acting as upset as she did when Miss Kiff rejected her. Uh, after one of Austin's shows. It was one of the early Lover hosts. <laughs> true. And it, honestly, if that wasn't enough to win an Academy Award, she definitely deserves one for acting like Ludwig is funny for as long as she has. Because that, <laughs> that is just impressive. Oh, Hassan, Hassan, Hassan. <laughs> I have a lot of respect for Hassan. I do. Um, he somehow manages to do what people like Jon Stewart and SNL do, but somehow even lazier and less intuitive about it. He just watches other people's content all day with a plate of grilled chicken, and all the while, he makes way more money than he's ever made before by yep. preaching to broke early 20s college dropouts, screaming, eat the rich, while he's the one eating the poor. So, <laughs> great work, Hassan. That's capitalism, baby. Can we, can we get a round of applause for Hassan? That's capitalism, baby. That's good stuff. <laughs> Simply. Hi. Simply is here as well. Hi. Simply is a speedrunner which means he spends thousands upon thousands of hours perfecting his technique to finish a game as quickly as possible. That's right. Unfortunately, this has led to simply speedrunning pretty much every other aspect of his life, uh, mm -hmm. including every single interaction he's ever had with a woman. So sorry, Babs, hopefully you're not just another PB while simply chasing that world record. <laughs> Damn. Now, Miz, I know that your ego is going through the roof right now, seeing as how you're the center of attention, everyone's here for you. But I still remember Miz when I first made friends with him back in 2017. I still remember the Miz that I met in person for the first time at Soda Poppins House at DreamHack, just like we met Austin, when we met Austin. At the end of a certain RV trip that some of you guys uh, may have heard of. So, Miss Kiff, you can talk a big game now with your big house. You're an org owner. You're VGA graded 85 plus boxes, not 90 plus. 85 plus. Just want to make sure to point that out. They're still gold standard. But 
I remember when we were at Soda's house and I saw Miz sitting on the couch alone and I went down and sit next to him and he's sitting there completely starstruck. Miz was talking about how he couldn't believe don't that he was up. hanging out with don't Soda Poppin, with Raj knew it. Patel. Don't bring this up, please. Don't and bring getting this up. to be I the cameraman it. for the Ice Poseidon. <laughs> don't bring this up, please. It was just like it was just like we took any random pleb from TwitchCon and just like dropped him in the partner lounge, and it was like watching him to see what would happen. I can confirm, I hosted the party. That's a slicker roast. Melana, where did you it host the party literally... from? The bathroom? You were throwing up the entire night. Don't even don't even then, try it. No matter how much I was Wait, throwing actually, up, I did, your, your like, pleb sense was tingling. No, 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 I didn't tune out all the questions you were asking all the streamers there to prepare for your next YouTube video, okay? Like, I, no. oh, 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 my God. Oh, my damn. Oh, this is getting... Why are you guys <laughs> roasting Miskiv like this when those YouTube videos were the last time he actually made good content? Oh, oh God. God. Damn. damn. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Look, Austin was worried about what I'd say on this show. He actually sent me a text uh, that, that was very concerned last night. He was like, please, you know, you got to be careful here. Um... Because I tend to be a little bit offensive, you know. Uh, but also, Austin also worries about uh, why he's been single for so long. And I have the answer for that one. It's because no gay guy wants to fuck a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as some of you may know, as some of you may know, uh, I am the most successful offline streamer on the platform. I haven't streamed since January like 15th or 16th in two, 2020. So we're working on a year and a half here of still being relevant on this platform somehow. Uh, so I, I I think I'm qualified to take Miz down a peg or two. Miz Kiv is actually my landlord. Uh, so I thought to myself, oh shit, you know, like if this doesn't go well, he'll probably evict me, you know? Uh, but then I realized he lets Mitch Jones uh, live with him. <laughs> so S fan. You know, yeah. I was nervous when I found out I'd be roasting after you because I didn't want to be waiting for five fucking hours. <laughs> um, S fan literally does Whoa. not shut up. Our workout oh, sessions, no. our workout sessions are 15 minutes of lifting weights and two hours of S fan complaining about how XQC sucks at role play. Whoa! Whoa. Cinderella is here too. Uh, last week she paid for me to fly out to the roast of Ludwig. Where I showed up, ate all of their food, and joked about how her boyfriend's dad died tragically of alcoholism. Banger. That was the only joke I said. Um, Cutie's actually a member of the streamer group E-Girl Rejects, whose two most popular videos on YouTube uh, are ones with me in them. <laughs> uh, hey, usually we should when more think... together, Schlatt. We should. We should work more together. Yeah. Usually when you think of girl groups, you know, there's like some kind of theme. That, uh, that, you know, ties them all together, that links them all together. But that is completely absent with the ego rejects. Uh, on one hand, you've got a stoner who thinks that dunking on dream stands is worth her time. Uh, you've got an alcoholic whose whole thing is that she talks funny. And a baker who looks like the bitch that called the homeowners association on me last night because <laughs> I haven't mowed my lawn since I moved in. <laughs> All right, Lakari. Uh, everybody else probably made this joke already, but I have no idea who you are. Um, and I actually considered, I actually considered using the joke that Austin's professional team of writers came up with for you, um, okay. which is enough of an insult in and of itself. <laughs> True. So, okay. All right, now it's time for the man of the hour. Um, it's time for the man of the hour. <laughs> Miss Kim. That, that hurt. You know. God damn, man. <laughs> nice, that's a good one. So I, I can't use his jokes for you, Lakari. I can't use my jokes. Yeah, I'd get in too much trouble. Anyways, Miss Kip always gives yeah, me when I'm being playing shit. Miss Giff always gives me being shit. Uh, he, he, always, he always gives me shit for being lazy and doing the bare minimum. Um, <laughs> that's entirely true, and I'm not even going to say the punchline that Austin's writers made for that one. <laughs> Do you guys have any idea what it's like to move into a house that is just completely falling apart? Completely falling apart, only to tune in to Twitch.tv and see your landlord spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on fucking Pokemon cards. <laughs> um, in every single fucking room, the carpets are disgusting. The lights don't even go on. My bathroom has been dark. 
uh, since February, and the microwave literally blew up yesterday. It's a good video for you. Shut up. It blew up yesterday. <laughs> it actually blew up. It lit on fire while I was trying to cook popcorn. But hey, at least Matthew's new cardboard box has an 85 plus on it. What? That's big. Thank That's big. Oh, oh, That's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, some of you may be wondering, Schlatt, sure, you know, Miz might be a shitty landlord, but, you know, it must be awesome being friends with him. Uh, and let me just remind you. <laughs> yeah, simply, simply <laughs> laughing at that one. Uh, let me just remind you that on the night I moved to Texas, in the middle of the oh, worst snowstorm, <laughs> in the middle of the worst snowstorm the state has seen in decades – uh, when everything I owned was still in transit to me, when my house lost power and was freezing cold, and when the hotel I booked for that night lost power, I didn't watch the YouTube fucking, video. I didn't. When know. everything was fucking closed, Miss Kev, I turned up to Matthew's house, desperate for some warmth and some fucking sleep, and he meets me at the door with that fat fucking headset on his face, <laughs> and asked me to come downstairs into his stream room. Yeah. <laughs> The writers wanted me to end my monologue on a heartwarming note, uh, but I don't think I will. Thank you. <laughs> what the hell, man? You know, Yeet Kiff, many of your uh, current viewers may not know that, uh, you know, we're old homies. We're old True. homies. We're old homies. Yeah, yeah. You see, Ms. Kiff likes to uh, ditch his friends when the uh, next new opportunity, I mean, uh, friendship comes this way. Oh, Simply <laughs> here as well, huh? Uh, hey. One of uh, Ms. Kiff's new playthings, huh? Yeah. yeah. You loved much. me once like how he loves you now, dude. Uh, yep, yep. Just be ready for him to drop you as soon as uh, Rice Gum starts replying to his DMs. I'm now really no. you, Lakari. I don't really know how to talk to girls either, so I think we get along pretty <laughs> Hey, at least we've got something in common, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, but, you know, as soon as that does happen, dude, you have me, Moxie, Axie, and E-Rob. We'll be waiting for you, all right? Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, but, um, you know, luckily for you, dude, it's the I island of Mrs. Toys. <laughs> I think up. you still have time before you drop, dude, since, uh, you know, Russell's still somehow around. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking about Amy and Waifus, dude, uh, Will Neff is here, everybody. Now, Will, you may not know this, dude, <laughs> but um, I also have a mute. In fact, I have two. So that means all I'm right. two times better than you. However, I do want to say how progressive it is that you have a mute now after being Hassan's mute for so long. <laughs> <laughs> I like Very that good. joke. Very good. That's that was a good, good one. That was a good oh, one. God. Beauty Cinderella is a great baker. She can bake a cake that has more layers than her personality. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, I apologize if this is a little short. I have a bad track record of talking to girls on Austin's show. It's true. In yeah. fact, the last time I was <laughs> on one of Austin's shows, it was a lover host by a different name. Yeah. Thought I was making a killing on that show. I made it all the way until the end, and I even chose love. Turns out that specific guest ended up choosing love for a lot of dudes in ways I didn't get the experience. <laughs> oh, so, uh, if any of you have girlfriends, you should tell them to hit me up. I, I, I heard Katerino has a boyfriend, so she's probably still interested in you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's always a chance. Always a chance. God damn. Now I could go on, like everyone else here, about how he's balding, short, ugly, fat, unfunny, <laughs> stupid, or how his dick just doesn't work. But I thought I'd tell a more personal story about a time that his dick did work. What? Now, Miskiff has brought this up on his stream a number of times about how he and Crazy Slick may have allegedly watched me jerk off in front of them. But that's only half true. He's quick to leave out the part where the two of them joined in. That's right, everybody. We had ourselves a little bit of a circle jerk. You know, Miss Kiff often jokes about how he has issues getting hard, but rest assured he had no issues that night. No, we not did at not. All. I, that is not true. No, we did not. <laughs> what what is this freestyling? All right, stop, stop, stop. This is a lie. I did not do that. Boner. No, okay, here's what happened. Boner. Yep, yep. Now, I don't know if it was just a thought of doing it in the group that got him so excited or <laughs> oh, God. the thought that Maya could catch us at any time. My Austin, theory how do you go that... from your normal shows to this? I don't understand. It was the overwhelming <laughs> eye contact that him and Slick shared that night. You could see the sparks. Believe it. I actually believe it. I believe it. <laughs>
Yep, it's almost as if they forgot I was there at all. <laughs> now, Miz is gonna lie to you just like he always does, deny any of this ever happened. And when he does, I want you to ask yourself two things, chap. When has Uncle Lakari ever lied to you, huh? Mm. And when did Miz Kiff do his camping stream? I did have a lot on my heart today. But, I know. Um, <laughs> Austin called me last night at 11.30. I was making everyone's beds here. Can you not put me here. next to her? <laughs> Every, I was making everyone's beds here, preparing. I like, got a bed here for um, Miss Kiff. If he wants to come over, it's about four feet long, so it will fit you perfectly. <laughs> anyway, it's not that easy for people like Esmond. So my roast was supposed to be centered around being proud of you for being on time today, but you couldn't even fucking do that, Esmond. But I'm just going to roll with you my should. original script well, anyway. Um, well. You know what, Esfand? I'm proud and surprised that you made it here on time today. Usually, you'd be at home watching Asmongol's VODs, untangling the bird nest on your head, texting us that you're stuck in traffic, even though you're literally my fucking neighbor. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to roast you anymore because I know you've got a fragile ego. I sure. will leave you alone. Usually any more talk about WoW or you will put the chat to sleep. <laughs> Lakari, sorry. Um, I don't really know who you are, so I tried Googling you for just some nice ammunition. And the only thing that popped up was just a Reddit post of... You in a wheelchair in Miss Kiv's living room. Hey, that was a good time. Um, there wasn't even any live stream fails post. Uh, and I'm not going to roast a dude in a wheelchair. That's usually what Hassan does. So, <laughs> political Andy, Hassan. Uh, the truth is, I know just as much about you as I do Lakari, except that you're not in a wheelchair. <laughs> because the conservatives didn't locate your kneecaps yet. Um, you probably put aside a lot of time for this roast. Usually when people insult you, you spend 10 minutes tracking them down in chat. You're pretty clever at comebacks, but only when arguing with 65 IQ right-wing adults who don't even know how to formulate a sentence. Um, I'd like to see you debate anybody with an actual brain, not just people whose parents are first cousins. <laughs> so I'm glad to be here to tell you how I truly feel after the wife swap. I've been avoiding all OTK events because I just can't handle listening to you talk about XQC's viewer count compared to yours anymore. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! You love least, that! You love that! I just want to talk about the first time I met Miss Kiff. Uh, Espen inspired me. Oh, little, no. So I just no, to please! Oh, no. These are the worst! These are the worst! Just call me fat! I hate these. <laughs> okay, <laughs> calm down. Um, the first time I met Miss Kiff, uh, he came to a party that I hosted in Austin uh, during Dream Mac a few years ago. Uh, he was only let in the door because he was Dan Kwan's plus one. Uh, the day after the, the day after the party, the day after the party, we all asked each other, "Who was that weird dude on the balcony who asked Chance a million questions?" Um, I realized later uh. that it was accidentally a full fucking interview that he would later use for his YouTube channel where he was obsessed with streamers. <laughs> Um, that's the day we stopped having an open door policy. I hope you also one day do stop that, Miss Kiff, so you don't have any more episodes. Um, oh, oh, shut up. It was one cancellation in this house. It's not that bad. Everybody has had an opportunity to shit on each other and Miss Kiff. So it would only be fair if Miss Kiff himself got an opportunity to return the favor. The last roaster of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> The man of the hour, the man who has had to take the roast from all of his good friends for the last couple hours, Ms. Kiff. Ms. Kiff, Ms. Kiff, you and I have had the opportunity to get closer over the past year, and I can honestly say I regret every fucking moment of it. Hold on, one of my mods is <laughs> messaging me one of my jokes. Okay. All right, what'd you say? I said it's Ms. Titterman. Ms., you and I have had an opportunity to get close over the past year. And I honestly say I regret every fucking moment of it. It's well, made me realize the hell that Maya must be living in. I just wonder how long it'll be till she considers you a, a successfully rehabilitated animal and leaves you. <laughs> it's going to take a while. I know most of her chat is waiting for that as well. You are all just jealous of my boxes. You are now obligated to host me for every next month. 
Austin, I need you to get these Minecrafters to respond to my tweets. You all think you are so funny, bringing up my hairline, my sister, and how, uh, how I'm fat, and I always say the same things over and over again. That just isn't true. It's probably because you all think you are so funny, bringing up my hairline, my sister, and that I'm fat, and I say the same things over and over again. That just isn't true. A warning to other creators here today. Cutie will send you a message later trying to get you to join a podcast. I mean, how many podcasts can one person have that no one watches? <laughs> <laughs> when Jay Slats on, they watch one. <laughs> Melina! Oh, God. Your, your insults to everyone were brutal, but at least we all know what it's like to be Nick when the cameras are off. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible for someone to complain about nothing as much as you do, but after living with you for just a few short days, I realized that wasn't true. I don't think you said one positive thing while you were at my house. And I don't think I've ever heard you say anything positive ever. <laughs> while you got me. <laughs> Bitch. Finally, Austin, thanks for having me. Uh, after how cringe this roast was, you may need to completely rebrand and change your name again. This time around, just make sure to run the new name by Jay Schlatt and see if he laughs. If he does, you're gonna need to try again. <laughs> That's a good one. That's I will say joke. I was sorry to hear about the throat surgery, Austin. I didn't know people could have surgeries that weren't purely for vanity. But can we please stop pretending it's from all the talking you did instead of the time you did a marathon of dick sucking to get into 100 Thieves? <laughs> oh my god! That was, your best, that was your best bit. Good job, writers. Thank you guys for all coming out to my TED Talk. And that concludes the end of the roast. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Ms. Kiff! Give it yeah. up for Ms. Kiff!